Jalen here, and I'm gonna be inside today to try to help you inflate your tubeless tires with a floor pump. If you don't have an air compressor, you don't wanna to go to a bike shop and ask them to use theirs, and you don't have a pump with an air chamber, then this video is gonna be for you. Here is my tire that I successfully set up tubeless. I used the Schrader adapter method that I'm gonna show in a moment, but first, I think the best consideration you can make to start with is actually seeing if you can simply remove your valve core and use that with your floor pump to, pump to inflate the tire. If that works, then that's great and you don't need to use the Schrader adapter method. You don't need to buy a Schrader adapter and you can simply just remove your valve core. So here we have your standard tubeless valve and we are now going to remove the valve core. The valve core is this little piece here and by removing it, we're actually going to increase the volume or the space in the valve and that will allow for more air to pass through when we're using our floor pump. Now, the way to remove the valve core is using a valve core remover tool. So this is a kind of standard valve core remover tool. It's from Park Tool. This one's about 10, 15 bucks. Um, you could use this or perhaps you have a multi-tool that um, already has a valve core remover tool in it and that works as well. Either way, this is a really handy thing to have in general because you will need to remove your valve core regardless if you use a floor pump or an air compressor because you need to use, you need to remove the valve core to be able to put in your tubeless tire sealant once the tire is already uh, mounted. So either way, you're gonna need a valve core remover tool um, and both of these are solid options. So let's start removing the valve core. So it's pretty simple. Basically, you're just gonna kind of shove this in there and twist off and it'll come off pretty easy. And now here is your valve core. We'll just put this aside. You don't wanna lose it. Um, because it's really small, it's probably easy to lose. So we'll put it right there so we don't lose it. And here you can see, like I said before, by removing the valve core, you've increased the um, volume of air that can pass through here because there's less stuff in the way. And that is really good. And hopefully for you, it should allow you to be able to inflate your tires with a floor pump. But like I said, for me, that did not work. There's two kind of um, related reasons why that won't work and I'll explain that in a second but if you are able to just use your floor pump attach it to this and pump up your tire and it works then that's great and good for you and you know <laughs> that's that's all you really need to know in this situation but for me that didn't work and perhaps for you that didn't work either so we're going to move into the main kind of hack here or the main solution and that is using the Schrader adapter. The reason I had to go with the Schrader adapter method is simply because once I removed the valve core from my valve, the inputs of my floor pump did not lock in or did not um, work with the valve anymore. I simply couldn't use the Schrader valve or the standard Presto valve input. Like they, they just straight up don't work. Like I can't put them in and have them lock. And that is, you know, <laughs> kind of like stops you right in your tracks there because there's nothing you can really do. I tried uh, pumping with just kind of, you know, holding it there and it did not work. So this is where I had to stop and consider the Schrader adapter method. So let's show you that now. So the tools that we're gonna need to use to conduct the Schrader adapter method is of course a tubeless valve that has the valve core removed, a valve core remover tool, and a set of valve cores or an extra valve core. I recommend actually purchasing a whole bag because they're really handy to have in your tool bag in case you accidentally break one when you're out on a ride and you need to replace it. You'll also need a set of pliers. I have needle nose here, but you can use any set of pliers. And then of course the magical tool is the Schrader to Prestra adapter tool. And this will allow us to connect our valve to a Schrader pump input and pump up our tubeless tires. If you're a bit skeptical on going out and purchasing one of these, it should only be no less than $5 to buy one. 
and it's actually something that you should always just keep in your tool bag because in the event that you're on a ride and your pump doesn't work and you need to go to a gas station to use the uh, air compressor, it won't work with your Presta valve unless you have one of these adapters. Um, so it's just a good thing to have in your bag anyways, especially if you're into bike packing. So this next step seems a little crazy, but bear with me. What we're gonna do is actually break off this piece from your valve core using the pliers. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because it will allow us to get more air through the valve. This little uh, kind of plunger piece that I'm gonna try to break off is, while be it small, uh, preventing some of the air or blocking some of the air from getting through. And this small little thing actually does make a difference. So it's kind of hard to break off. Perhaps two pliers would be better, but okay. There you go, <laughs> we got it off. So we're now going to pull this little piece out the end. And this is now, these two little things are now garbage. We won't need our pliers anymore. And we now have a modified valve core. And this is gonna let just that slight amount more air through. And hopefully that will be enough to inflate your tires. Our next step here is gonna be to take this modified valve core and reinsert it back into our valve core. So we'll need our valve core remover tool and you're just gonna twist it in like this, get it nice and snug, and then you're good to go to move on to the next step. Now what we're gonna do is take our Schrader Presta adapter tool and attach it to our valve, of course, with our valve, um, valve core modified um, setup. So. What we're going to do is just take the fat inside of the adapter or the side where you can see this o-ring and push and twist and you need to put a little bit of pressure but then it should come on this side will not work because this is the side that we're going to take our floor pumps schrader input and attach it in so now we're basically ready to start pumping and we have this nice large volume, internal volume or internal diameter, and this is gonna get a ton of air in, and hopefully that's gonna to work to help get your tubeless tires inflated. You can see here I got the Schrader adapter on my tire, and we're gonna take the Schrader input of my trusty pump, and we're going to kind of just shove this on or latch it in lock it and then you can just start pumping and you'll just pump like crazy and hopefully that'll work the whole point of this was just to get more air through and this will succeed in doing that okay so i hope you got your tires all seated and beaded and inflated and you're ready to inject your sealant and get on your ride um, if it didn't work for you then i highly recommend trying another video with an actual bike mechanic or just take it to your local bike shop. I'm sure they'll be able to help you and it's a worthwhile use of your time just to do that. Um, so yeah, if you made it this far, I'd really appreciate it if you went and slapped that subscribe button and it'll really help my channel. And uh, we'll see you soon, thank you.